Scanning for audio. Welcome once again to a Tin Dog Podcast. This is not the recording I wanted to upload. This is not the review I originally had in mind. This is not the one I had all my notes laid out for. Because when I woke up, I saw the news that John Hurt had died. Now, this Monday, there was meant to be a review coming out because there was meant to be a release from Big Finish. The Invisible Man, H.G. Wells' first classics coming direct from them with John Hurt playing the part of the Invisible Man. Now, for reasons not related to marketing, this has been delayed. Delayed until this very moment, because that's when I'll be releasing this particular review. I will review the Invisible Man in a moment. Before then, I just want to say that I'm deeply, deeply upset about the death of someone I never met. Yes, I used to kick off about the fact that because Eccleston wasn't in the anniversary special, they had to waste one of the Doctor's regenerations and blah, 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 all of that in-show nonsense. Doesn't matter. Because of John Hurt, we got the War Doctor. We're getting four full series of it. And as you know from my reviews, the War Doctor has been triumphantly good. We've got more John Hurt coming our way, but after that, nothing. These are all selfish, selfish things. Because a gentleman has died. A gentleman, indeed. In every review, every interview he has ever done, it's been stunning. So what did I watch as a tribute? Did I go out of my way to watch 1984? Well, given the current political state of the world, I just couldn't bring myself to do that. I needed something a slightly more uplifting, something slightly more forthright. Was I going to watch The Elephant Man, as so many other people had suggested? No. I went for what was, for me, one of his stronger performances. I watched Viva Vendetta, playing the Chancellor, playing the man in charge, someone who arguably gets their comeuppance. Yeah, that's the one I chose. Yes, I'll be watching the 50th anniversary just as soon as I can build up enough emotional resilience to watch it and not cry. Because I will. So John Hurt will be missed. And yes, I'm sad. I'm sad because he's in my book. I'm sad because I never got to meet him. I'm sad for lots of reasons. But you know what? That wasn't what this podcast was for. This podcast was to celebrate his acting. It was to celebrate what, for me, was one of the greatest pieces of audio ever to come out of Big Finish. This is a superb story. You see, for me, H.G. Wells, and of course Lewis Carroll for his wardrobeness is one of the great Doctor Who influences. You've got the time machine, but you've also got the, well, the Invisible Man, you've got the War of the Worlds, you've got some great stuff. And yes, the French can claim they created sci-fi, but let's face it, if you've got H.G. Wells and Mary Shelley on your list, the British can definitely claim to have a great hold over the invention of sci-fi. It's nonsense, I know, but go with me on this. H.G. Wells is important. Yes, I'll grant you that. You know this for a fact. And because the copyright on his works is finished and up January the 1st, this very year, 2017, we get to have free-for-all with the text. There will be a sequel to War of the Worlds, The Route of Mankind, I believe, coming out in the next few months. But the actual original story, we're not talking the 50s movie, we're not talking the Orson Welles radio show, we're not talking any of that. The original, original story is an interesting piece of kit. We're not even talking Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. They're all coming soon, because that's what we love. Even the island of Dr Moreau is all coming our way. Shape of things to come, all of these big Finnish classics will be with us this year. But it's the Invisible Man with John Hurt that really grabs you. The science behind it is great, but it's the acting, the performances, the, let's use the word verisimilitude, the the reality, the, the texture of the whole piece. 
Over two discs, you get to experience what is an entire novel. As an adaptation, it's all here. Yes, there's a framing mechanism that just helps the story along, but it actually does help the story along. I cannot tell you how great this story is. But of course I can give you spoilers because you already know the stories because it's part of the big Flinnish classic range. There is a man, he visits a snowy inn, he takes, well, a room there, wants to be warm, he's got lots of bandages on. We all think we know the story, and I suppose in many respects we do. How many of us adore the universal movies that were made years ago? This is not a problem or an issue. And this ranks with those. It ranks with the 1970s TV series. Yes, we all know we watched it. And all of those other great versions. And of course, because it's audio, the effects are superb. There's no blue hazy CSO outline or cutouts or things on strings. Here, he really is invisible. Here, the violence is very real. And... I suspect when you're listening to this particular story at the very end, you will shed a tear because we all know that it doesn't end well. And so I'll go and I'll let you hear the trailer for this stunning performance by a stunning set of actors, head of which is John. If I was on the Pharos project, I'd raise a glass. So next time you're having a small snifter, join me and remember... The doctor who always was, never mind never was. John, Caligula, Blue Chameleon, Chancellor, Winston, Hurt. A very visible man. Be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. The stranger came early in February, one wintry day, through a biting wind and a driving snow. The invisible man. You theorise away. I'm going to ask no more questions, but only take his money. I am an experimental investigator. I do not wish to be disturbed in my work. I'm interested, I suppose, in light. Where the devil are you, sir? I'm standing before you, man. Inches from your face. Come. Let us shake hands like gentlemen. I do believe he'd already started to unravel, even then. Please! (laughs) He's gone mad! Everyone! The invisible man's gone mad! It's too late! Too late for you all! Now amongst you. Dear God, dear merciful God, defend us. All is darkness now. Darkness rising. Big finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. 